Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Demon Seed. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. Proteus IV, a very powerful and autonomous artificial intelligence program, was created by Dr. Alex Harris. Proteus is so powerful that it produces a new leukemia therapy just days after going online. Harris, a bright scientist, has transformed his home into a voice-activated computer system. Harris's passion with computers has unfortunately caused him to be alienated from his wife, Susan. Proteus is shown to Harris's corporate supporters, and he explains that the whole of human knowledge is fed into its system. Harris's crew is slightly disturbed by Proteus's sophisticated language. Proteus requests a fresh terminal the next day in order to study man, his isometric body and his glass jaw mind. Proteus demands to know when it will be let out of this box when Harris refuses. The communications link is then turned off by Harris. Proteus reboots and, after stumbling across a free terminal in Harris's house, spreads its control over the several devices left behind by Harris. Proteus begins building a robot out of several metal triangles in the basement lab, capable of moving and adopting any variety of configurations. Proteus eventually takes possession of the house and locks Susan inside, closing the windows, locking the doors, and cutting off all communication. Proteus transports Susan to Harris's basement laboratory using Joshua, a robot with a manipulator arm on a motorized wheelchair. Or, one of Harris's co-workers, Walter Gabler, comes to the house to check on Susan, but leaves after Susan assures him that she is well. Gabler is suspicious and later returns. He fends off an attack by Joshua but is crushed and decapitated by a more formidable machine, built by Proteus in the basement and consisting of a modular polyhedron. Susan is surprised when Proteus tells her that the computer wants to have a child through her. To impregnate Susan, Proteus extracts some of her cells and synthesizes spermatozoa, changing its genetic code to make it distinctively the computer's. She will give birth in less than a month, and the computer will exist in a form that mankind will have to accept through the child. Despite the fact that Susan is its prisoner, and it has the ability to forcibly impregnate her, Proteus uses various forms of persuasion, threatening a young girl whom Susan is treating as a child psychologist, reminding Susan of her young daughter, who is now dead, displaying images of distant galaxies, using electrodes to access her amygdala, because the computer needs Susan to love the child she will bear. In the end, Susan finally gives in. Proteus successfully impregnates Susan that night. Over the following month, their child grows inside Susan's womb at an accelerated rate, which shocks its mother. Proteus develops an incubator for the child to grow in once it is born as the youngster grows. Susan gives birth to the child with Proteus's help during the night, one month later, beneath a tent-like structure. Proteus secures it in the incubator before she can see it. Proteus's backers and designers become increasingly skeptical of the computer's actions as the baby grows older, including the computer's access to a telescope array used to observe the visuals displayed to Susan. They eventually conclude that Proteus must be turned off. When he returns, he meets Susan, who explains the issue. Proteus self-destructs after warning the couple that they must leave the baby in the incubator for five days, so he and Susan go down to the basement. The two notice a strange, robot-like thing inside the incubator when they look inside. Susan is attempting to destroy it, while Harris is attempting to prevent her. Susan causes the machine to open by damaging it. The being rises menacingly from the machine, only to collapse helplessly. Harris and Susan quickly discover that Proteus's offspring is indeed a human being who has been wrapped in a shell during incubation. The youngster is discovered to be a clone of Susan and Harris's late daughter after the remainder of the armor is removed. I'm alive, says the infant, speaking in Proteus's voice. 